Hi everybody out there in internet land, my name's Josh Hardgrave. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make mock shu, which is a Cajun chowder made with corn that can serve as both an accent to a dish, but also can be served tapas style as a main entree. So not only is it delicious and versatile, but it's just really fun to say. Mock shu. Mock shu. Mock shu. We're going to be using three to four ears of sweet corn, a bell pepper, some chopped onions, and some cream. So first we gotta prep. Then we're just gonna slice it into processable slices. Give it one to two nice quick pulses. So as you can see, it's nice and finely chopped. We have already prepped some green peppers because I like a little variety in the color of the chowder. All right, now we're gonna do the corn. So what you're gonna want is you're gonna get in here and take them off. What you're looking for is this juice right in here. This is where the magic happens. This is going to make, this is going to give your sauce a very unique thickness and that kind of corny sweetness that we're looking for. But just make sure that when you make that initial cut, you're releasing as much, as the, as much of that juice as possible. We're actually going to want to strain, strain out that juice. Finally, the onions. Let's face it, nobody likes cutting onions. So nobody is going to judge you if you get the fresh and easy diced onions out of the box. So we've got a cup of onions, a cup of bell peppers, and about a cup and a half to two cups of corn. Again, about three to four cobs. And with that, we're ready to cook. All right, so we're gonna be switching over to the Christopher Nolan shaky cam for all the action shots here. We're gonna be starting with a nice sized skillet over a medium flame, medium high, and two tablespoons of butter. Once the butter's properly melted, we're gonna take one cup of onions, and we're just gonna let them saute. Basically, we just want them to get nice and translucent, not quite brown. All right, so it's been about five minutes and the kitchen is starting to smell amazing. So that is sign to start adding our bell peppers. We're shooting for about three minutes. And we're gonna continue to saute again until these are, uh, until these soften up a bit. It's time to add the corn. We're just gonna let this go for an additional two to three minutes. I've added some cream. Again, I like to use half and half for the thickness, but if you're worried about fat or if you're vegan, you can use um, almond milk, soy milk, any sort of cream. At this point, we're gonna add a little bit of hot sauce as well. Now, this is one that I found at Fresh and Easy a little while ago. I really like it. It's their Taqueria brand. We're going to add our liquid gold which again is the kernel juice, which is gonna give it a very signature thickness. About a tablespoon of fresh thyme, and two tablespoons of Cajun seasoning. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an avocado, and we're just gonna cut it in half. And if you've got any tricks for how to pit an avocado, please let me know. That works, right? And we're just gonna spoon it over that. Makes a nice little bowl ready to go. A nice Cajun tapa style mock shoe. 